college graduate. I did my undergraduate at the University of Tulsa, bachelor's degree in economics and political science. And I did a master's of urban studies there, and then a PhD in sociology at the University of Oklahoma. What, uh, what attracted you to soci sociology? Well, after I finished my master's degree in urban studies, the two disciplines that seemed most appropriate uh, for me to continue my education would have been political science and sociology. And I like the fact that sociology is a very broad discipline. Um, for example, my own research has been quantitative and qualitative. It's ranged from um, issues related to racial stereotyping, neighborhood interaction, how people feel about crime, to edge, my work on edge work, which has looked at uh, motorcyclists and uh, motorcycling um, subcultures and um, BMX riders. So I like the idea that sociology is so broad that it's hard to find something I couldn't that I'm interested in that I couldn't study as a sociologist. Yeah, the, the breadth of sociology, the fact that it can look at any type of social interaction, informal organizations and neighborhoods and crowds, um, the day-to-day -day life we have, um, informal institutions, large organizations, it's just all encompassing. I, I can't be, a, I can't not be a sociologist <laughs> when I'm driving through a neighborhood or a new city or riding a subway station train. Um, I'm always a sociologist. What continues to motivate you? It, I get a lot of motivation from my students. I still like the research, but the day-to-day -day interactions with both graduate and undergraduate students um, is actually probably the most satisfying part of my job. So I've been working on a, uh, uh, an approach to highlighting sociology in action. How do you see sociology in action? Um, sociology in action for me at the personal level, um, I'll just relate it to my own experiences. I'm an avid motorcyclist. Um, that interest has led me to publishing a number of articles relating to motorcycling, motorcyclist, um, motorcycling subcultures, um, the history of motorcycling. But it's also led me to serve on a nonprofit board that um, helps fund motorcycle safety training programs. So for me, sociology has allowed me to combine my personal interest, my professional interest, and my service interest um, into one general area, and that's motorcycling. And that hasn't been to the exclusion of my uh, more traditional research, but it's been an, an addition to that. So you teach the course on voluntarism. and. Uh students in that class are required to go out and serve in some capacity. Uh, tell me uh, some of the more interesting forms of service that have come out of that. Well, I've had students do everything in there from the zoo to American Cancer Society. I have a student this year that's working at um, Churchill Downs with a program that helps provide services to people working on the backside at Churchill Downs, which is basically the jockeys, the hot walkers, the trainers, those that actually work with the horses, which a lot of them are from the Latino community in Louisville. So that's probably one of the more, one of the newer ones that I've had. And I have, I've had several students actually get jobs, uh, be offered jobs because of their internship experiences. And I try to get the students to either um, to use the internship as a way to explore a career. Some of them are thinking about going into the Kent Social Work, uh, Kent School of Social Work, for example. So I suggested them that they might go out and try to work with the population they would like to serve and make sure that's what they want to do before they go invest um, some more time and resources into a graduate degree. How do you think uh, an education in sociology helps those students who are doing those service projects that turn into careers? I think sociology helps them to look at the larger, broader context of where they're doing their internships in my volunteerism class. I try to, through my lectures, sensitize them to the idea of the sociological imagination, to Weber's Verstehen, the sympathetic understanding of the minds of others. I try to get them to think about not only the clients that they may or be serving, but also their, the employees of that organization, the supervisors, the role of the social environment um, plays in terms of the structure and the functioning of the actual organization itself. So I'm hopefully getting them where they will look at the social context, the entire social context of their um, internship placement. 
Tell me about the Department of Sociology. Uh, my experience at the, at the Department of Sociology at the University of Louisville is, is it's a very supportive environment. Um, sometimes departments will be divided along um, theoretical issues, methodological issues. I know sometimes a department will favor qualitative over quantitative research. Um, I myself do both and I find that our department is very good at um, accepting people regardless of their methodology, whether it's surveys, census data, um, photography, I've used photography in my research, um, ethnography. As long as you're doing research and enjoying it and doing it well, the department is supportive of whatever approach you choose. And I think that makes us more well-rounded sociologists to have a variety of um, methodologies in our toolkit and even some variety in the, method, in the theoretical issues we look at. If you were a student, if you, if you came across a student who was thinking about sociology as a major at the University of Louisville, what advice would you give them? Um, I guess I would tell them that to um, take some classes in other disciplines, including and soci while they're taking some in sociology, and see what strikes their interest. Um, I think sociology is a good general discipline to study to help you understand the world we live in, both personally, professionally, and in terms of various institutions, our families, our religious institutions, things that are very important to our personal lives, but also our public lives. What about careers? I think sociology helps provide you with a background that is applicable to a wide array of careers. I think it helps you and I know students hear this all the time, critical thinking, critical thinking, critical thinking, but I really do think it helps you to understand and critically analyze the world we work and live in.